myself and Clayton Stoss here. This is Chris Brown. I'm going to give you a little tour of the compound. This is our new company car, Dodge Rampage. Welcome to this edition of Compound Cribs. This is the fleet of snow cats, compound cats. Snow cats aren't cheap to maintain or run. We had to change a few belts this year, this summer on this thing. It's actually uh, a lot of work. <laughs> it's not much fun. We spent a couple weeks doing it. Prenoth was uh, nice enough to loan us a snow cat for the year. It's a BR2000. It's in. 2001. Super clean. Way nicer than our cat. <laughs> These things make it happen. Yeah. And uh, inside here is where we do our work. As you can tell, we're super neat freaks. Every tool has a home. Yeah, there's, we know right where everything is in here. We always sweep the floor every night. Sockets, uh, nitrous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty organized. I think a lot of people are gonna be jealous of this shop. Yeah. This probably looks like Moriarty's garage. Here's our freezer, which we'll be keeping full of uh, antelope and elk, and animal, buffalo, all shot here at the compound. Slaughtered. It's compound. <laughs> it's all to feed the troops. Yeah. We just haven't gotten there yet. We've killed a few animals, but we haven't put them in here yet. You know, being that a lot of people wreck sleds around here, we like to keep a lot of parts on hand. It's in a can. Um, Just in case someone wants to add 20 pounds to their sled. Yeah, we have this pair stock can here. Now, as you can see, Chris's bike, he's put it away for the winter, and he, he really did a good job of sprucing it up before uh, winter came. It's yeah. looking pretty good. That's, uh, that's just soap that I didn't get off. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get all rinsed off. But it looks good. Yeah, it's looking sharp. Yeah. yeah. Here's our uh, secret stash. Don't tell anyone where this is. That's how we do. That's about it for the barn. We've got our fuel supply for the year here. 500 gallons of 91 and 500 gallons of diesel. That should last for a couple months. That way we don't have to leave to get fuel or anything. It's all here. Basically for the last month or so, Clay and I have been busy building landings out of dirt so that when we did get some snow, we could just top it with snow and, and be hitting ramps. Because that's about all we have uh, enough snow for right now. And if we hadn't done all that pre-season pre work with the dirt, we wouldn't have anything. We've had Jay Quinlan and Sam Rogers out here practicing uh, for X Games qualifiers. Yeah. Unfortunately, Cody drove all the way down from Canada and on his first hit off the super kicker, he broke his arm. This landing is about 90 loads of dirt, 90 dump truck loads. It was all shaped with the track of, and then covered with wood chips and snow. Perfect backflip practice landing. Super safe. Here's the uh, motocross track. It's a tight, kind of super crossy track, and it works for a good snow cross track in the winter. Keep logging on to SledNextTV.com for the latest update from the compound.